happen. So you can see, oh, by presenting it visibly, it makes a difference. Now I just want to show you, look, this is some ways that blueprints are presented. Some people have really ones like this where they've got images at the top. You can see in the middle the line of visibility which distinguishes the backstage activities from the front stage activities. And this is just one way of putting it together. There's not a lot of words in there, but there's enough to prompt you to say, OK, this is what they're doing at each step. You'll notice there's an F up there in the corner, up here. So that's what's called a fail point. So when you start to get to this stage and you start to sort of build your story, for your, you know, your script for your theatre, you indicate fail points. This is where things go wrong regularly. <laughs> so this is a fail point where you know it's the weak spot. It's sometimes called the critical incident spot. This is the bit that can turn satisfaction into dissatisfaction. So you highlight where these spots are. Why? So that you know to fix them. So that you can mitigate the risk. Or so that you've got a backup plan and you know what to do when things go wrong. So that's one way that a blueprint can look. And they can look lots of different, in lots of different ways. This is another way that some, uh, another organisation has put it together. You can see they've used storm clouds there in red to represent where things go wrong, their fail points. And they can also represent areas such as um, the hearts and whatnot, where that's a point for a passion point, perhaps, or where things can be turned around. You can see the line of visibility. You can see things at a front stage and backstage. Now, this one's a little bit more complex, and they've put it all together. But like I said, you can break it down into small acts, the first act, the second act, the third act. But by doing it this way, it just literally gives you your service on a page. What are the main steps that they do? How do we respond and at what point? Where are our key touch points are and where are the points where things go wrong that we can mitigate risk around or that we know um, that exists there? So um, this is another example. You can see with this one, just a few words in each of the boxes, different colours. I just want to show you different options so that you can see that it can be as complicated as you want it to be, it can be as simple. I, I suggest you go simple, you know, succinctness and brevity, um, you know, there's a lot of value in that. Because at the end of the day, it's about you mapping out how the customer moves through your service. They move through your theatre production, the act, the deed, the performance that the service is.